Mr. Jeff, could you tell me a little bit about your home ownership? Are you a home owner or renter? Both. Both? Okay. Could you tell me? Own a, own a home in Washington, and I'm renting a house in Thompson while my kids go to school down here. Okay. And um, what type of structures? Are they similar or different? They're different. Okay. The house in Washington is a brick, one-story home, and the house in Thompson is a wood, old wooden, two-story home. And both are single family homes. Yep. Both. Okay. And approximate date you moved in. And you can tell us for both if you want. The house in Washington, 2007. Okay. And we moved in here probably around 2016. Okay. 15 to 16. Very good. Um, so you, my next question was, have you always lived in Thompson? Clearly, you've lived in Washington and then Thompson. Um, have you always been in this general area, though? I have. Okay. Very good. All right. So do you have rooftop solar for either one of your homes? I do not. Do not. Okay. Um, and could you tell me a little bit about why you don't have rooftop solar? I know with the rental house, it may not be your decision, but yeah. the other... Yeah, I can't... Have it's not my house, so I can't do anything to it. Now, years ago, we did look in the, when we lived, I lived in Wilkes County, but lived in Denver. Mm -hmm. uh, we did look in the solar panels for the house, but two things, the expense and the way it was going to have to be put on the roof, it, it just wasn't functional. I mean, not no. for that why house and for okay. what we were wanting it for. Very good. Well, that told us a lot of information and answered some of these questions. Um, thinking about specifically the renting the rental house right now you're currently in, if you had the option, would you put rooftop solar? <laughs> if it would help with the electric bill, it would be a wonderful thing. Yeah, sometimes an older home, I don't know if it's quite as feasible, yeah. but... Gas is, the gas is worse. I don't think solar would really help with the gas, right. the, the heat part. Very good. All right, so not so much with the houses that you own and rent, but now just thinking about rooftop solar adoption in general. And here's a map of the United States. And could you just circle where you think people may have the most rooftop solar? How many states can I include? You can make a big circle, little circle, a whatever circle, you want. Little circle. Okay. And is there anything about that area that makes you choose it? Well, I figure it's the uh, the flattest, maybe the flattest mm -hmm. land, or most of it, the flattest land where you know easy access to the sun. There's, you know, you don't have to cut down a bunch of trees around your house. To right. Okay. So definitely geographically, that's an area. Is there anything about the people that live there that you may think would be more open to solar? Well, that, or? well the, I think some of the Midwesterners are more able to, uh, what's the word, self, self provide self, for themselves. They're used to that. And some of the rural areas that are really rural, mm -hmm. they would look at alternatives there. Okay, very interesting. And here is a map of Georgia looking more specifically at the state we live in. Is there a section on this map where you think people um, or rooftop solar would be more prevalent? I want to say, I want to say somewhere in southeast Georgia. Okay. And is there anything special about that area? Well, it just becomes flatter and it's just, it's just you know, less vegetation. It, you know. The reason I keep saying it is because my house in Washington, I'd have to saw down 50 trees mm -hmm. to even get it to where it would even work. So, yeah. Okay, well that makes sense to me. Um, and I don't assume those people that aren't that far away from us are that different of type yeah. of people mm -hmm. and all that. So good, what about most of your close friends here in Georgia? Do you know anybody that has solar on their roof? No. Okay, and why do you think that we don't know anybody? Because I don't know anybody either. I think it's just more convenient just to deal with the with the electric company rather than having to, if you do your own thing like that, you know, first the expense, then if something happens to it, you got to have a trained technician to come there and fix it and, you know. 
a lot of time. Yeah, that's yeah. more trouble than yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, savings could. Well, you just call the local UMC and they send a bucket truck and you're fixed. That's right. Yeah.